um, calendar. We don't have anything. Council, uh, Council Liaison Report. Hello, everyone. I missed you all last month. I'm Jackie. I'm um, a rep from Councilmember Rocha's office, who is the liaison to the Neighborhoods Commission. And I wanted to give you some updates and tips. Um, a few of the commissioners asked that um, that this update and report be available, maybe through email or um, print, and I'll be sending it through Ernest, so you have it for your FYI for your, your associations. So um, happy spring forward. I um, I want to let you know that the Mayor's March budget message will be released next Monday on March 16th, and this time it's valuable to see if there are any budget actions or the solicitations that you are interested in. And the state of the city will be this Saturday at Independence High School at 10 a.m. and the doors open at 9.30 a.m. Uh, the mayor will outline key initiatives, budget priorities, and opportunities for residents to make San Jose a safer and smarter city. <clears throat> More information will be in the email with the address and parking, etc. So here are some updates. Um, Hainan, uh, airlines announced non-stop service between Beijing, China, and Silicon Valley. Um, this service will begin on June 15th this year. Um, the city sponsored legislation uh, that was introduced by Senator Jim Bell um, that will give cities the authority to regulate pedestrian staircases. So if anyone knows much about um, uh, Communication Hill, that's an area that can now be regulated if this was to pass um, by the city. Um, on February 27th, the Avaya Stadium here in San Jose opened and um, welcomed the San Jose Earthquakes to its new home. And um, beginning this week, San Jose will no longer allow bicycle riding on specific downtown sidewalks. Uh, violators are actually subject to fines ranging from $100 to $1,000 and can be charged for a misdemeanor. Um, the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office um, is moving to City Hall, which I'm sure some of you are aware of, but um, construction in the wing is expected this Friday, to, to begin this Friday, uh, March 13th. And then yesterday, um, the council voted to support SB3, which is the Minimum Wage Fairness Act. It was um, introduced in the California State Senate. Um, this would require cities to raise the minimum wage to $11 per hour uh, by January 2016 and $13 per hour by July 2017. And yesterday the council also voted to add the city of San Jose to amicus brief in support of executive action. Um, in the case of Texas versus the United States, the city attorney plans that this letter will focus on the subjects of how this plan can affect economic growth, um, increasing public safety, and promoting family unity. Uh, thank you, and I'm available for any questions that you may have, and any input for subjects that you might be more interested in in these reports. And we will have copies of these notes to hand out. You said you're in. No, 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 no. I'm saying you're giving those to Ernest to distribute to us? Yes. Very good. Can these be, a bit, can these be available? Uh -huh. uh, the meeting, or do you have to well, I try to give you the most updated information and use it to tell the meeting the day before. Oh, okay, yeah, that sounds fine. I'll pop it in the spot. Okay, very good.